So spring has sprung, flowers are blooming. It's time to open up the windows and let the nice cool breeze come into the house. That would be nice if you had screens that didn't have giant holes in them, right? I don't know if you can, how well that shows up on camera, but there's a massive hole in this uh, screen. So the bugs like to come in like Jack Nicholson breaking through the door in The Shining. Here's Johnny. So we can't open the windows, obviously, because those uh, little boogers uh, will get all up in my house and we can't have that. So a couple years ago, I replaced all these screens uh, on the lower level of my house, but somehow forgot about these two small ones. Um, so let's uh, do a quick review on how to replace these screens. So you're gonna need a couple items. You're gonna need a roll of screen. Now this is nylon mesh, whatever you wanna call it. Um, if you have aluminum screens, this process is a little bit different, uh, but basically the same. Um, so you need a roll of this. You can pick this up at any big box store. You're gonna need one of these tools. This has a solid roller on one side and it has a grooved roller on the other side. And I'll sh kind of show you what that is for. You basically only need the solid roller if you're doing um, aluminum from what I understand. I don't use this for the mesh uh, stuff. I like to use a couple clamps to hold in place the screen. And then I use a box cutter as well to cut off the excess um, screen and get it shaped the way we need to shape it. And you're gonna need a screwdriver. We're going to need to clean this off. It's pretty grimy. This is the part that sits at the bottom of the window, so it just collects all this stuff. And like I said, this has not been changed since I moved in, like almost eight years ago. So you want to take your screwdriver. There's a spline in here, and you want to just work it out. Now this, kind of be careful with this. If you want to reuse this, you can. I'm going to try to reuse mine. Just work that screwdriver in there and just get a little bit of it out so you can grab it. Um, this stuff can become brittle and break over time this doesn't seem too bad it's still pretty bendy as you can see but you basically just want to remove this i'll probably reuse this if you can't reuse it and it's too too brittle sell this stuff at walmart they sell it pretty much anywhere one thing to note about this i think they come in like three different sizes so just take a piece of this spline that you have here that's old and just kind of go compare it over the bag so this is the same size so i don't think i'm going to need this today though let's, all right let's get all this out and then we will show you how to put the screen back in All right, so we'll take our roll here. We'll just kind of place the edge here, right over that. And we'll just roll this out. I'd give it, you know, maybe an inch or so on top and the sides. So you can pull this tight and you'll just cut off the excess. We'll just cut this off. All right, we'll get this lined up here. And then this is kind of where I think the clamps kind of come in handy, especially if you're doing this outside like me. The wind's kind of blowing, it's, like I said, it's springtime, so you can just kind of clamp that in place. Right there, maybe even get another clamp on this side too, kind of pull that a little tight. Otherwise, what I've found when I've done this in the past is as I'm putting this spline back, back in, if it's not pulled tight, you'll get a little wave in the middle. It'll kind of be creased like this and you don't want that. So I kind of like to just have it held taut for me so I can get this spline going. So basically this is already kind of crimped in the same direction. So we'll start at one corner. Since I already have a corner here, I'll just start at this corner to just line this up in this groove right here. Take your trusty little grooved end here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little dip in there. This thing's been through the ringer and you just kind of press in, get it started there, and just go down the line. And go slow, because if you, if you tear this, you're gonna have to cut another piece. It's just gonna be annoying.
Okay, so we've got three sides done here. This side and the top and the bottom done. Now this is where I think this is kind of the most important side. You just wanna make sure you kind of just give it a little tug as you're putting this spline back in. That way it stays tight and you don't get that crease. It shouldn't, it should just pull tight as it is, but um, just to make sure you don't get any wrinkles in here, um, I would just pull that tight. So get, get your corner started here and then just a little tug nothing too crazy you don't need to pull it like super tight I'll just pull it just just basically just hold it in place so that it can get locked down in there finish this up and I'll show you how to do the corners Again, I'm not a professional window guy so um, obviously like I'm just going super slow this might take me five minutes to complete though it's not it's not a task that takes a ton of time unless you're doing your whole house and you have 30 windows then it adds up after a little while but again as you see i'm just i'm just kind of grabbing this with two fingers and just kind of giving it a little tug get to the end here we can take our clamp off when you get to these middle brackets they kind of take up that groove so it might just sit on top of that a little bit so i wouldn't wouldn't try and force that in there um, and i've got excess so i'll just careful not to cut my screen just cut that little extra piece off all right now we just need to get the corners down but this is a fresh green cut the excess off you can kind of see here that the corner is still lipped up a little bit because that roller can't get all the way down in there so we just want to get on top of this and push it push it real good so last step is uh, we're just going to take this razor blade and we're just going to kind of sit it right on top of this and just run it down the side all the way around and we'll just cut off the excess now take your time doing this you don't want to get to this point and rush this and accidentally cut a hole in the screen and have to do this whole thing over again and just like that i don't have any more, more psychotic serial killer bugs trying to break in my house no more hole super clean super easy